for this demonstration, I want to make a bit of a selection in here. So I'll grab this magic wand tool. Let's click up in here and select that. Make sure on add. That looks good. Let's come down in here. I'll select in this stuff. And we'll add over here. There we go. And some stuff down here. That's pretty good. I've, I've added in most of that stuff around this cannon. If I zoom in on that edge, I can see how well that edge has been selected. Looks pretty good, actually. It's a pretty good selection. But I may want to adjust that selection a little bit, and I can do that using the Refine Edge tool. Looks like the worst part of it is over here right in there. So let's go up here to the Select and Refine Edge. This gives you all kinds of options. You can look at the actual selection. You can see there's the selection right there. Kind of hard area. I can expand the detection area and here I can subtract the detection area. You see that's what that circle is all about. I can adjust the radius on that. Notice how the the selection area expands. You can see a bit more of the cannon in here or less of that cannon. I can smooth that edge down a little bit. Just kind of softening up that edge of that selection. I can feather that selection. I can adjust the contrast of the selection. I can also shift the edge a little bit, either in or out. So I can expand the selection or contract the selection using the edge shift option. I also can decontaminate colors. This kind of removes that edge fringing effect that we talked about previously. So it allows you, the refined edge allows you to come in and kind of come in and, and be a little more specific with the edge effect. It's mostly useful if you're using one of the tools like the magic wand and you're doing an automatic selection and you want to kind of adjust that selection without going in and manually reselecting or repainting any of the areas. This is the tool that will help you with that job. Let's show our radius. And look at our different views in here. There's the emerging ant view. You can see that edge again right there. It's cutting in a little too much up here, as you can see. Here's an overlay look. Just puts everything in red. Here is black with the area. There's white with that area. There's black and white, so you can really see that edge. And here it is with just showing a transparency, and then here's just revealing the layer without any effect. So you have different ways of examining or looking at your picture in here. Again, allowing you to come in and adjust that edge until you get just the just the quality that you want for the edge of your selection. Choose OK. And there you go. Notice it actually makes a mask for you, creates a new layer up here, masking layer. And you can then work with that masking layer again as we've seen before. I could then paint in with white or with black and adjust this mask by painting onto the masking layer. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.